Hello, hello, hello. All righty, welcome back. Here we go, Miss Moneymaker, anything that moves. In this video, we are going to talk about Microsoft. We're going to get into Microsoft because it's that area where we, it, it deserves some respect of a little discussion. Let's have a little discussion. We need to have a little bit, a little bit of a discussion about where we're at. Okay, so, so let's talk about Microsoft. Also, we're going to talk about Intel. Intel, the situation there that I pulled up, and also the market overall, where we're at. We're at some key levels there, and what this all could be about. At the end of the video, I'm going to say, hey, because there's a warning. Okay, there's a warning. So let's get into it, Miss Moneymaker. Anything that moves. All right, so now this is Microsoft on the daily time frame. All right. Okay, so you see over here, we have some support here. We were here again. But first, I have this channel drawn going to the upside. You see how we fell out of it a little, right? Okay, so I want to show you here this part, though. All right, so where I'm saying. There was some support here around 380s, let's just say, 380s. And when we came down here, again, we had some support. We bounced up. So now the market's closed right now. It's 7 in the morning. So the pre-market, we're at this price right now, okay? So we bounced from 388 to 406 already, okay? Nice bounce. But will we hold it? Will we hold it? Now, if you like Microsoft this is a good area to get in because the thought is right if this is support then we should nicely go back up and then you can go to your high again four hundred sixty eight dollars okay that's the thought all right so now hold your thought Microsoft again okay another time frame looks a little clearer nicer pretty okay this is a weekly time frame see when it came to this area the wick candle means uh, buyers brought it up buyers brought it up so it was upward pressure going upward like that that kind of way like pretend that's a nice um arrow okay buyers brought it brought it upward okay here 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 so this is what i'm saying so this is a nice support level so you can see it, that's a nice um image of it there so but what's going to really happen here hmm let's look at this is the spy okay we're going to talk about intel in this video too this is the spy so here we go. We changed spider. Now we have support this channel going up, right? We fell out of there and we came down. So it seemed like we consolidated sideways and we had a nice little rally up a little bit. But you see this green line? 20 day moving average, 50 day, 200 day moving average. All right? All these things here. Okay? We we have to go through that, through that, and then up into this channel. What could happen is we may get around here and go doo, 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 doo. that's what may happen and fall down all right so that's the spy cues see cues are looking a little similar right same kind of situation may happen okay so let's switch to intel don't want to make the video too long and microsoft because of this news okay microsoft right they're cutting some jobs hold on let's just get this off the chart all right so microsoft is cutting 1,500, 1,900 jobs. Okay, Intel, because we're switching over to Intel, they're cutting 15% of their workforce. You know, sometimes when people cut jobs, it's good for the stock, and then sometimes when we're having situations, because look at this, right? Layoffs pile up in the US, okay? It's the economic unemployment data, you know, when people feel it's not good, it's like they start getting scared. Investors start getting scared, market sells off. All right, this is Intel, everybody. We switched. Intel daily time frame. Now, okay, everybody, if you're in it, if you're Intel, okay, Intel. Okay, when we were at 30, then we had the earnings. These uh dotted lines are the earnings, okay? It was it was negative. That's why it's red. Right? It wasn't good. All right, let me just hold that for a second so you can take that in. It wasn't good. Take a screenshot because I'm going to move on. Don't want the video to be too long. All right, so go into another time frame so you can see it easier. So this is still Intel, three-month time frame. We're down here. Okay, $20.50, uh, and then we dropped pre-market um, $20.48. So it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to say $20.50. So we're here. You see here in the past, but look. 
guys, ladies and gentlemen, look at the years we're going back to. Levels of 2006 to 2012 levels, okay? That's, so there was a lot of activities. Candles are really buyers and sellers. You have to look at this as these are people, okay? So there's a lot of people down here who bought it back up before. So this is interesting as in that kind of concept. But what could happen? There's a lot of people shorting Intel. That's just been a thing because uh, Intel is down so much. So if we keep going down, let's say, I don't even want to do like a, a minor support. Let's just say we go here, okay? Let's just cut to chase, right? If we go from, hold on, let that disappear. If we go from your $20.50, will we go down to $14.62? Will we go there, right? There's a lot of people who short Intel. When we day trade in the, um, the daytime, in the morning or whatever, they're holding shorts. So if we lose this levels, this levels here is like, doo, doo, doo. okay, we can go further. And I bring that up because like I said, the spy, we could, we can go down. And why are you saying that Miss Moneymaker? Why are you saying that? Because are we having this kind of situation? Are we having this? Investopedia, thank you very much for doing this, right? Are we having just a temporary relief, bounce up, and then go a little bit more? And I said that, why? Because remember, I said the SPY and the Qs, okay? Will we come up here to these moving averages, to this trend line? Will that trend line become resistance and we bounce back again? And if you're getting in up here and we bounce back down again, that's not going to feel so good. You know, if it'll feel like buying at the top and then we go down, okay? Not that I'm bearish. I'm not bearish for the stock market for the rest of the year. I'm not saying, oh, we're going to do all this. No, no, not, not for long, okay? Because the election is coming and things go up in election years and stuff like that, okay? So, but we could just be experiencing a temporary relief and still go down because of all this um, drama, <laughs> this kind of drama here, all right? So... Keep things in perspective. Keep everything in perspective. You know, don't do not do too much. Like, don't do what you can't afford to do. You have to play your position, play your book. They say, I don't know how much money you have. I don't want you to be all in and you don't have more money if we dip lower. This is something else, okay? When you don't know what you really want to buy, sometimes you could just buy the overall S&P 500. Vanguard has VOO. It's always, it's always adorable because you know, yeah, we'll dip down, but eventually we go up. It's like, that was a song. We fall down, but we get up. All right. So will this fall all the way down here? Something like that. And then election, like, um, and then in September, we start going all the way like that. So I'm not saying we're going to have a bear situation, but just be mindful where we're really at. Okay. Overall. So I wanted to give you that video, let you know all those things. Click like and subscribe, Miss Money Maker. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye for now.